Hello guys. Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the, the top 5 best drones of. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly used to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. The Mavic Air 2 is a bit bigger all around than its predecessor, the Mavic Air, but you probably won't care. At 3.3 by 3.8 by 7.1 inches and 1 pounds and 30 pence, it's slim enough to find a space inside most photographers' gear bags. New to the series is AirSense, an ads B transponder. It warns you when there are manned aircraft near your drone, it's your responsibility as a pilot to cede airspace to a passing helicopter or plane. You shouldn't fly above 400 feet, nor within close distance of airports, but you can still encounter situations where you're sharing the air with another pilot. I received a manned aircraft notification on my very first flight with the Air 2. Air since hardware is in short supply, though. If you're buying the Mavic Air 2 in North America, you'll get a drone with the feature included. However, G doesn't expect it to be in drones sold in other markets until the summer. G went back to the drawing board for the Air 2 single quote S remote. It's completely redesigned, dropping the LCD and moving the phone clip from bottom to top. It's a bit bigger all around and finished in an attractive gray plastic. A camera a drone is only as good as its sensor. For the Air 2. G has changed things up, swapping out the Air's 12MP camera for a new one that can shoot photos with 48MP resolution in DNG or JPG format. The dual resolution capability comes from a quad bear sensor design. Snapton S5C is a drone that's very popular on Amazon lately, because it comes at an affordable price with two batteries included and also has a 720p camera. It won't be a great camera drone, but it's built with pretty solid materials, so your average beginner can crash it over and over without much care. This quadcopter doesn't have a ton of features, but it still does a great job with the ones it comes with. I would like to mention that the blue and red LEDs are really nice to fly with during the night and the flip function is also pretty interesting to play with especially by children. The fact that it comes with two batteries is also very good to note, as I haven't found many to do that this days. The controller is also pretty modern and easy to use the Snapton S5C can indeed do flips which The Holy Stone HS510 comes fitted with a 7.6V LiPo 1500 mAh battery which should be enough for a maximum fly time of 16 minutes on a single charge. The battery performance isn't exactly industry leading, but it sure blows some of the competing beginner friendly quadcopters out of the water. Plus, I'd say that the fly time is long enough for beginners to get the hang of piloting a drone. What's more, you don't get one but two rechargeable batteries, meaning two things. One. The addition of the second battery ups the drone's flight time to 32 minutes total. And two, you don't have to wait for the battery to recharge before you can continue your adventure. It takes around 150 minutes for the battery to recharge once it runs out of juice. The Spark is aimed at the drony crowd, but shares tech from the Mavic such as obstacle detection dual band GPS and a visual positioning system that lets it hover in place up to 98 feet above the ground, indoors or outside. Also, while the competition relies on electronic image stabilization alone, G put the Spark's full HD video camera on a two-axis motorized gimbal for smooth results without sacrificing image quality. And G took its gesture controls to the next level with the drone, too. The bundle is a good value and worth getting if you think you might want to do more than quick flights for selfies. Then again, the Mavic Pro is pretty close in price and can be flown farther, faster and for longer. It has a better camera and stabilization and folds up to a very travel-friendly size as well. Basically, 
If you're really interested in learning to fly a drone immediately for capturing spectacular photos and video, save up for the Mavic. The Spark is a great choice if your main goal is to get cool dronies, without limiting your opportunities to do more down the road. With its brightly colored shell, white, blue, green, red or yellow, and tiny frame, the Spark greatly lowers the intimidation factor. For new pilots, having something small that, out of the box, you can fly without having to learn any real controls whatsoever is a big deal. The Hover Camera Passport made a big splash at SIS 2017 with its owner mode, which uses face detection for smartphone free flying, and G does something similar here with its gesture mode. Fire up the quad, hold it out in front of you facing the camera and double tap the power button. The camera gives a quick scan, locks onto your face and spins up its propellers. Let go and the drone just hovers in front of you. To move the drone around, you hold up your palm to the camera and wait for the drone's front lights to turn green. Then you can move your hand up and down to raise and lower it and move your hand left or right to move it side to side. Give your hand a wave and the spark will fly backwards away from you and then start tracking your movements. The Mini 2 matches the original Mavic Mini's exterior design. The two models used the same airframe, coming in at a 249 grams, skirting the federal requirement for FAA registration. When folded, the drone can slide into a jacket pocket, but you'll probably still want to carry it in a small bag. The included remote control is a bit bigger this time around, but with more advanced wireless communication tech and stronger antennas. Where the first generation aircraft struggled to keep a solid connection at longer distances, the Mini 2 is absolutely rock solid. Battery life is improved, too. The Mini 2 single coat S motors are upgraded to be both more powerful and power efficient, pushing the rated battery life from 30 to 31 minutes. It's a modest bump, and still shy of the 34 minute rating you get with the pricier G Mavic Air 2, a drone that's best in class when it comes to flying.